uh, yeah, uh, t just over two weeks playing a ton of Warframe after burning out for ages. And uh, then I also did play a bit of Path of Exile and a bit of something else. Uh, but I've been mainly focusing on that instead of doing what I've been planning on doing. So this is the first time I've actually stuck somewhat with that whole sca you know, plan I have. Uh, maybe at some stage I'll get back to the other thing, but that won't be for a minute. There we go. It is nice not to have to loot things in this game. Just auto loot. Very, very nice. And though that flickering is annoying me. Action. Minor. Okay, one second. Can I have both of these active? <laughs> I can? Shit. I approve. Oh, okay. I was just locking the compass and unlocking it. Alright. Uh, a few side quests. Don't really care too much. Well, if it isn't Yawen's a, pr a protege, I thought it was about time you arrived. I'm also the guy who got you alcohol, Bus Karen. Remember that. Still, this looks so much like candlesticks, or a candlestick holder. Christ. Uh, I'm Bus Karen, and this this here is my place. In case you're wondering why all Yawen sent sent you, I should mention I'm not always I've not always been in the food and drink business. Before I opened the Drotters, I manned an outpost not far from here. Any road, between keeping throats wet and bellies full, I ain't got a great deal of time to chat just now. So if, if, so if you don't mind, I'll get on with educating you. Now, take this uh, nice bottle of full flower mead. Wait, don't open it. This ain't that kind of lesson. No, I want you to make an offering of it at Miss Sell's Lance, which is a monument tucked away in a rocky cleft to the south of here. See the bottle safely there, complete with its contents. And when you come back, I'll tell you a story. Got all that? Good. So we have to... Questions and answers. <laughs> oh, that's a terrible pun. I completely approve. Um, the worse the pun is, the better, really. That's my policy. I'm still thinking of the time I, you know, um, we, I went into the dungeon up north for the first time, up there to the Thousand Malls. And they killed the boss while I was still watching the cutscene. <laughs> still thinking of that. Missed. When they said monument, I didn't know what they meant. Uh, well, I, I, I thought it was something else, but this is a grave. Yeah, that's dedicated to someone who died. And since they're using a lance, it's clearly a lancer who... Yeah. Presumably it's someone he knew. Otherwise, why would we be sending it us on that thing? It's probably a cautionary tale. That's my guess. But anyway... Come on. Thank you. So you offer up the mead as I told you, and without drinking a drop? Very well. You shall have a tale of me, as promised. Miss Tail is the man who founded the Lancers Guild, and the monument I sent you, uh, sent you to was erected in his honor. Miss Tail was a man of, uh, Miss Tail was, was courage made flesh. Caught him, and I dare say he would have bled to this stuff. It was him who first identified the two aspects of Lancer's courage, as well as how to go about tempering them. And that wasn't all he did. Seeing how the art had gone stale, what with our Lancer's keeping to the confines of the Twelve Wood, Twelve's Wood, he sought to bring in new techniques and methods from faraway lands. But Gardenia was a different place in his day. The outside world was a thing to be shunned back then, and non forest born were, were considered faithless savages. My, it was even worse than now. Oh, of course, old Mistel wasn't afraid to call that way of thinking what it was. A lot of, a lot of uh, ignorance and cowardice. 
To cut a long story short, despite a forceful of good old Gardenian stubbornness, he finally convinced the nation to open its doors to foreign monsters. By blending their techniques with his own, he gave the world the art which you now practice. To this day, the Lancers Guild accepts students regardless of their origins. That wouldn't have been possible if it hadn't been for Mistal. Us Lancers owe much and more, it's, and it's our charge to carry on his legacy. Never forget that. Eh, what's that? When's the trial? <laughs> as much as I hate to disappoint, there isn't one. Your courage was never in doubt, son. My, my part in your training's done. It's time you visit your third and final instructor, a fellow named uh, Volkart. You'll find him whiling away his time at the Bob and Cork, like it's not. Oh, that's the name of the inn in Fulgord Float, in case you don't know. Up in the North Shroud, it is. Volkart's an old rival of mine. Me and him used to go up... Uh, used to go at it till neither man could lift his spear tip off the ground. I warn you, he was a right stubborn bugger back then, and the years ain't done much to improve his humours, so uh, good luck with impressing him. Like I said, I, I, I like. Uh, ooh, and I have a thing right to there. Beautiful. I was seeing some, um, it was some official, it was, you know, on the la launcher, some uh, picture, you know, of one of the cat guys, uh, cat boys. I'm honestly te tempted in getting Drum Karen changed to one of them. I know, I just, I think I prefer the look of him. I know, different opinion now. Oh, Godwin. So, uh, anyone pull any Godwin's laws lately? Eh. Yeah. For those who don't get it, it's basically, as internet discussions go on, uh, the likelihood of so yeah, comparisons to Nazis reaches one. Basically, the more an inter internet discussion or debate goes on, the more likely someone's going to get called Hitler. Which is why people are advocating for punching and assaulting Nazis is extra bad. Because everyone and anyone is called that. I take it I take it you are the young answer of whom Ya Wayne spoke, an adventurer besides what look of you. I was a adventurer once myself. That was before I became a lance for a hire. But enough idle talk. You've come to learn from me, and what from me you shall. Be warned though, you will not find me as lenient to the instructor as the others. Now, pay attention. Thus far if you aren't to muster courage in the situations of panic of, of fear, panic and uncertainty. But me you'll do uh, you do so in the face of change. The enemy is a living thing. Living things are apt to change. Whatever the nature of that change, a lancer must be able to think and adapt. To that, and to think and adapt during battle requires courage. To teach you the meaning of my words, I would, uh, I would have you challenge a fiery fiend known as Red Balloon. However, the creature will only appear. Uh, will, however, the creature will, uh, will appear only where there is a raging flame. You may kindle such a flame by producing six fingers of slain balloons and deposit them at a gutted fire camp. That should suffice to entice the red balloon. As battle wears on, the creature's fire, uh, fury shall burn with ever greater fervor until it is ripe to burst in the conflagration of death. A current shall strength your lance and extinguish this fiery foe. Alright. Christ. We, uh, I'm still waiting, and I've been doing this for 23 minutes now. We're on to the second episode of this set. Uh, questions and answers. So once I do this, uh, I won't get another answer quest till level 30. It's once every five levels if memory serves. Um, so yeah. Which is fun. Oh. Oh, hallelujah. Commence. At long fucking last. Let me just check one... One thing. Need to make sure my... There isn't a mic on. Otherwise, I won't be able to commentate at all. Ah, <sighs> oh well. Um. Hi. Oh. D Cutscene. No. Oh, okay. Do like the um, eyeball guy there cooperating for a jump scare. So nice. Of it. Uh. 
Well, not jump scare, but you know. Ooh, I like this music. Okay, no, it doesn't look like there's any, uh, you know, party communication thing via mic. Good. I just had to be sure. I've just been playing a bit of, you know, like I was saying before, I was playing so much Warframe. I'm just used to that being a thing. Did you tank it? Also, Banner Maidservant, apparently a demon. Reprisal, damage dealt reduced. Honestly, from the name, you'd assume there would have been a uh, damage increase. Not a... Well, sorry, it would have uh, returned damage. Not just reduced it. But apparently not. Apparently not. Also, I love it. We're fighting a... We're literally stabbing a carpet stain to death. It would help, be helpful if I was actually cognizant of things that were pretty fucking blatant. I was told the enemy was elsewhere. Tiny key. Okay. We all got a tiny key. Alright. And we're just gonna Congo line through. Alright. Well, that's dramatic. I'm not sure if that's one of us doing that, or one of them. Yeah, I'm maybe... Okay. I've no idea who's focusing on who. Uh, like... Are we... Is there like a particular enemy we're meant to focus on? So it's just... It's hard to know what I'm going to be beaten up. But whatever. We'll, we'll figure it out. You know, another thing I've been wanting to play for the last bit is, um... Total War Warhammer. That game. I've played it before, uh, don't know how to play it. It should be out by the time this is out. Then again, actually, no, it won't be. It won't be. I'm, um, underest I'm overestimating the amount of backlog I have. But, um... Uh, yeah, basically, I've played that game before. I don't want to do more, but uh, I I want to get some DLC first. Can I get it? No, I can't get it. Oh, it's only one ten person tank. Alright, that's disappointing. Are those weapons on that? Yeah, there's random swords left out. But we can't take any because, you know, say no to stealing. Unless you kill the wielder, you're not allowed to take them. Since no one's wielding them, they, you aren't allowed to take them. We've got a strange morale. Okay, geez. They ran in here to, kill, uh, to fight this one. I'm assuming we should be probably focusing this one down first. I wonder how much higher level all of them are. You know? Like, they're all level 31. Yeah, like, everyone bar me is 31. Um, that's the level they're, they're all being nerfed down to. I wonder what level they actually are. I, 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 don't, I don't think that's their actual level. Um, but, yeah. Anyway. I do like the design of this manor, I have to say, it's pretty nice. Of course, it's e it has to be evil and infested, but... Basically what I'm saying is, if I'm ever going to have an evil infested manor, it's going to look like, a lot like this. That, or have a lot of gold and red... Uh, to, well, uh, cream, gold... Uh, uh, cream with gold trim and, like, red. Basically like the uh, Solaris Temple from Hamlet Exile. 
uh, or Temple of Solaris or whatever it is. Some dead attempt to soul something or other. Soul or something or other. Sun God, basically. Um, it's got cream wall, gold trim, gold statues, red carpet. Looks fantastic. And I think it's either cream or gold forms. I think it's cream. Looks fantastic. Oh damn. So you should have hit full trust there, not to hand now. Um, but anyway. I can do life surge, but I, there's no reason for me to do that. Oh great. Don't hurt me. <laughs> Underestimate the Dreoes. Can I move? Why can't I move? Okay. Um, I was stunned or something, but since I haven't played this game in so long, I'm awesome looking up there to see the debuffs. Um, uses. I was so, so looking down. Come on. Um, oh, I'm, I'm getting a bit lost. Like I said, it ha it's been a couple of months since I last played. Well, at least I wasn't the one who aggroed them, because I feared that is a never build. Not sure what that dark mist does. Manor Kavigar? Is that something to do with cleavage? Uh, since it seems to be some female demon, I figure probably. They do have a fantastic sword. Looks good. Though all I can think of, there is some guy who does a YouTube channel and talks about the diff like the like how good like different uh, weapons would be. Uh, like you. He, like, you know, rates them, does that kind of thing. And I have no idea, uh, the, uh, you know, would that actually be good in a sword? You know, that curve there, somehow I doubt. But yeah, I just saw, saw a video of two of his, and basically that's where my mind always goes back to. I'm just gonna move away from the AoE. It just feels like yeah, probably the right course of action. We should actually have some food. Uh, can't really eat during combat though. So, um, I'll have it after. We'll give extra XP, which would be nice. Also, void fire plus, uh, void fire XP. Light Fyra? Alright. Could be worse, we could be fighting Void Fire Aga. Oh. Just gonna move away from darkness. Just cause I have no idea what it does and it sounds scary. It's no. Oh, so. Okay. Alright, down we go. Corpse fly. Oh, that's nice. So we've gone away from the demons to the undead. That's friendly. And I did misclick there. We should re uh, organize these so this stuff actually in um, a better range. I've got a limit break, I could use it. Uh, would, would be nice. And that's just dumb. Uh. I have no interest. Um, I was hoping uh, I thought that was something else. I was hoping that was something else. Something that I could actually, you know, roll on and would be useful. 
I know I'll be leveling abroad at some stage, but I, I'm not leveling them anytime soon, so I still need to start gearing.